Hello, Shadowcat back with more Star Trek Online, and last time, we have hurt the Iconians. Well, not we. He did. Kalis, the, like, legendary Klingon. Or a clone of him, or something? I wasn't really paying that much attention. But, either way, he had a Batleth. They said it was legendary. I didn't believe him. Until he cut off the arm of an Iconian. It might be a little bit legendary. However, um, now that we have shown the Iconians that they can be hurt, they're going to fight back even harder. We can be assured of that. So, we need a new weapon, and I guess they've got a lead on one? We're not exactly sure. We did find out that they can be hurt not just by that Batleth, but if you feed enough power into them, like from an Omega Generator, uh, that'll work too. We are slowly coming up with ways to fight the Iconians. And so, they're waiting for us to take on another mission. I haven't even looked at what it is yet. We, we had repairs to do and things like that. So, uh, maybe we should take a look now. Yeah. Alright, Tovin, let's bring it up on screen. We have a lead on the Krenim. Voyager went to Krenim space, looking for them a few months ago, but didn't find much more than a Vardwa and some anomalous sensor readings. But now, we found a Ferengi, selling what he claims are Krenim artifacts. You are authorized to negotiate with the Ferengi and obtain these artifacts. Follow the trail where it leads. We need a weapon against the Icodians. And the Vardwa have gone to a great deal of trouble to keep whatever secrets the Krenim have out of our hands. Okay. Interesting. So, go to Drazana Station. Ah, oh, we went to Drazana a long time ago. Okay. The war continues. Yeah, we can do that. Drazana. Drazana. Uh, let's see. Tovin. Pop the big map. If you would. Well, we're in the right quadrant, at least. Right, Drazana Station is all the way over there. Well, I mean, at least we're pointing in the right direction. So, why don't you kick this thing into high gear and let's get to the station. I don't even know what a Krenim is. Let's go find out. There we go. There's the rust bucket of a station. Not too busy today. That's okay, though. Welcome to Drozana. You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave. And a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll find it all here. And don't forget the 77th rule of acquisition. If you break it, I'll charge you for it. Good to know. Just let us dock. Okay. Everybody mind your wallets. Now, where is this contact of mine? Yeah, this station does look uh, vaguely Klingon. I wonder if it was captured from the Klingons once upon a time. Maybe retrofitted? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's been a long time since we've been here. Now, if I had a contact, he'd probably be over here somewhere. Maybe in one of these booths? Ah, wait. You shouldn't be here. You are a Romulan. 
In fact, I've met you before. Commander? Was there something you needed? No. Not you. I don't need you. This is your lucky spin. Um... Where is this Ferengi? He's gotta be somewhere around here. Well, now I just don't know. Hold on. Let me, um, let me just check something here real quick. If we pull up the big map... Let's see. Oh, wait. All the way over there? But that's the turbo lift. We just came from there. Okay, okay. Hold on. We'll go check it out. I thought it'd be out here in just, like, the main area because it's where all the business is. But that's fine. So I should take this left and take the turbo lift, either up or down. Probably up? Mm, no. There's a ceiling there. We'll take the turbo lift down. Yeah. Alright, just make sure to keep a transporter lock on me. Oh, I get to take people with me. Okay, okay. Um, Tovin, you're staying on the ship. Unicorn, you can come with. However, I expect you to stay upright this time. Um, let's see. Lewis, you can come too. Well, I don't think that I need that much of a security escort. I think Unicorn, maybe this time you'll stay behind. If we're going to be dealing in artifacts, I'll probably want all of my science people. So, I think that we'll take Jerry, we'll take Solarian, and we'll take Hot Potato. So there we go. We do have a little bit of security escort, but by and large, we are here on an investigation. So let's investigate. Sir, business facilitator Gwen, or Quen, has rented space at the station for his private sales meetings. We aren't sure what the object he is selling is yet, but rumors are that it is a technological device of some sort. The price Quen is asking for is... significant. You could buy a moon for this much latinum. Command has been in contact with someone they think can provide some assistance. Until they arrive, though, our orders are to go ahead and make the attempt to obtain the device. Quen. Why does it sound familiar? I feel like I know that name from somewhere. I'm here to see Quen. May I help you? Oh. Wait, you must be. I'm sorry, but the business facilitator is busy at the moment, and cannot be disturbed. Yeah, and I'm here anyway. Open the door. Yes, but Quen left me explicit instructions about this. He's in the middle of a delicate negotiation to triple his profits on the sale of a rare Delta Quadrant artifact, and cannot be disturbed. Oh. From the Delta Quadrant. That's interesting. So, let's see, we have some options here. I could negotiate with them. Um. So, my negotiation is basically the combined resources of Starfleet, the Klingon Empire, and Romulan Republic. Which I'm sure is appealing. Let's try that. Maybe, let's see. It was something. Krenim, I think? Oh, Delta Quadrant treasures are all the rage right now. Artifacts from cultures the Vadwar wiped out are particularly valuable. Quen's made quite a bit of latinum bringing them back through the gateways. Now, that profit-sharing plan he promised me hasn't materialized, but is it my place to complain? Okay, I'm done playing here. If you don't get uh, let us through, 
I'm going to take the door down myself. Look, Quinn hired me to answer the comms and chat up the customers, not to be security. Go right in. Just try not to break anything. Quinn will find some way to blame the damages on me. It's been nice talking. Come on, let's go. Don't think I need this gun, though. The little one should be fine. Now let's see who he's dealing with. Delicate negotiations, huh? I wonder, delicate negotiations with who? Don't need to ask what. We know what we're here for. But I do wonder who he's dealing with. You can never trust a Ferengi. I'm about to do a lot more than interrupt something. So, Quen. I do remember you now. An asteroid? A mining facility, I believe? Oh, and New Romulus, too. Yes, I remember you. Not so fast. The gentleman with the rather imposing associates over there has just made a very competitive offer for the device. Care to make a counter bid? I want to make it worth your time. You said there weren't any other buyers, Quen. Now what do I see? Romulan Republic refugees probably here to beg for another handout. Guards, get these riffraff out of here so I can conclude my deal in peace. Okay. This device will now belong to the last person in this room standing. And it's going to be me. Wow. Okay, they actually know what they're doing. Setting up a bunker. Now try and hurt us. Next. You've got actual marines coming in here, Quen. I'm impressed. And now they're all dead. Now you're next. So, exactly what's it going to take for me to not put an entire battery right through the middle of your lobed head? Hmm? going to pay those guards to my office. Hold it! I am not son of Grand Nagus Rom. And I am a Ferengi. And when you deal with these people, you deal with me. Uh, you have a choice. Either deal with me, or I ask my father to have a word with the Liquidans about your poor business practice. Um, well, I'm sure we can come to an understanding. That's what I thought. Now, kiss this thing. Get out! Not you, Quinn. Well, that was unexpected. However, I'll take it. Now, I wonder how I turn these things off. Hmm. There's no off button on them. Well, that's okay. I'm sure they'll turn themselves off uh, eventually. We'll just we'll, we'll we'll just give them a minute or so. All right, there we go. They do turn off automatically. Fantastic. Now we can have a conversation in peace. Here's my best offer. How about we agree on a price, and you get your Delta Quadrant doodad, and I leave. 
Everyone's happy. No, because you'll still be alive. And I won't be happy about that. No? Fine. How about I answer your questions and maybe then I get to leave? But let's get on with it. Every minute I stand here, I'm losing a strip of latinum. Time is a very valuable commodity. You're right. Time is very valuable. Stop wasting mine. I want everything you know, then I want the artifact, and then I want to see if you can outrun a blaster. The device is Krenum in origin. Specifically, it's from the Krenum Imperium. Constructed sometime in the mid-22nd century, if I had to take a guess. Strange piece of technology. I haven't seen anything else like it. Highly advanced. And it has hallmarks of Krenum work. But it's, uh, odd. Definitely odd. Okay. So who are the Krenum? The Vodlar, that's what. At one point, the Krenum Imperium held more than 200 star systems in the Delta Quadrant. They lost some of that territory in a couple of wars, but overall they were doing well. Not the biggest business in the Quadrant, but not the smallest either. When the Vardwar started their war, Gaul took a special interest in the Krenum, bombed them back to the Stone Age, and then some. As far as anyone knows, the Krenum are basically extinct these days. Okay, well... I guess we're not going to meet any, then. So then, where did you find this? I picked it up from a Talaxian who wanted to trade for supplies. He told me he got it from the, uh, Kayana system. That was it. There used to be a Krenum colony there, but it's gone now, just like the rest of their empire. Well, I mean, that just put a damper on things. The Talaxian wasn't very clear on that. He just said, gone. If I'd asked any more questions, he might have increased his price. Do you have anything else for me? Because this information so far isn't very valuable, either in Latinum or your life. As a show of good faith to the son of the Nagus, I'm willing to tell you for free. But don't let this get around. It would ruin my reputation as a businessman. The device emits some unusual energy readings. The shielding may have malfunctioned, or maybe it's not fully operational anymore. I'm not sure. But that's why I'm selling it as an antique. As is, and no refunds. Uh-huh. What kind of readings? Do I look like a member of the Vulcan Science Academy to you? I don't know. It's yours now. You paid for it. You figure it out. I hope it doesn't blow up your ship. <laughs> Now, may I go so we can put all this unpleasantness behind us? I want to drown my sorrows in a comet cocktail and think about all the profit I didn't earn today. Yes, leave, so I can shoot you in the back. Oh, he's really hard to hit. Damn. I missed. Okay. So, where'd you get the stick? Don't let the staff of Avis and these good looks fool you. <laughs> I'm here as a Starfleet officer, and I don't normally flaunt my family connections. But in this case, it seemed like the best way to solve the problem. So I borrowed my dad's second best staff. Oh. He has multiples? Works for me. So, um, what, what do you see on the, uh, the, the tricorder? Interesting. I know Voyager encountered the Krenum during the journey, and Tuvok was looking for survivors of the Vaudoir purges. For now, though, perhaps we should concentrate on learning what we can from this device. Yeah, that's what I was asking. So, let's just get some scans, right? So, turn this force field off. Quinn left without taking down his security. But fortunately, I know how to get around it. This isn't a very sophisticated system. It's hardly worth the latinum he paid for it. <laughs> if we overload the EPS conduits, we'll create a cascade failure in the system that the control protocols won't be able to handle. That should drop the force field. 
So just un or overload the conduits? Yeah, I can do that. I think you can overload the EPS conduits in the corner there. In the corner? How does that console control this thing? Shouldn't I use these consoles? All right. I'll take care of it. Now that the power flow is disrupted, we can override the administrative access requirement. All right. Those are, yes, over here by the artifact. Oh, yeah. Barking like a mother. Excellent. Now and off. Look at this. Well, that's definitely a, um... Definitely a thing. Yep, it's definitely a thing. I wasn't ready for this. The waveforms aren't like anything I've seen before. Okay, but what do they mean? I'm not a scientist. If it's not made of nuts and bolts, I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm getting something. This is definitely Krenum in origin. And Quinn was right on the age. I'm also seeing some repeating elements in the base code, uh, almost like a signature. And that strange energy Quinn was talking about is actually chronotons. A lot of chronotons. And chronotons mean temporal manipulation. This little box just got a lot more interesting. Yeah, I'm not a very big fan of time stuff. Time stuff has kind of gotten me into a lot more trouble than it should have. Uh... I'll take the device back to my ship, the Chimera, and have a look while we're on the way to the Kiana system. From what I understand, Voyager sent an away team to the Kiana system a few weeks ago, but they encountered some resistance and were forced to pull back before they can find what they were looking for. But now that we have this, maybe we'll be able to find what remains of the Krenum, if there's anything left to find. So we have to go to the Delta Quadrant again? I thought we were done with the Delta Quadrant. Alright, fine. We'll see. Voyager's preliminary scans of the system turned up a number of anomalies, but nothing conclusive. According to Krenum records, though, there's supposed to be an M-class planet in this system. We're not reading anything like that on the sensors. So we're missing a planet? Uh, we'll see. Let's check that wreckage out first. It might give us a better idea of what happened out here. And we should be on the lookout for Vodwar. Preliminary scans indicate they've been actively patrolling through this system. Fair enough. Keep an eye out for Vaudois. They're still patrolling this area. I mean, there's enough debris out there that it could be something left of a planet. But yes, let's watch out for the Vaudois. Launch all fighters. And keep yourselves on intercept. Tobin? Take us forward. Let's investigate. So a step sideways in time. I don't know what that means. I don't get it. It doesn't quite make sense. But then again, nothing with time travel ever does. So, wreckage. I think he means that right if there. I had to place a bet, I'd say that wreckage is where this artifact was found. It's probably a good bet. 
Solarian, can you get me a scan? Heads up! Vodwar on an intercept course! Oh, fun! It's just a, a cruiser. We can handle this. Watch that artillery. All right, bring the ship back around. We still need a, a complete scan of that wreckage. Solarian, can you get it from here? The wreckage appears to be Krenna. The weapon signatures are definitely Vodwar. According to Voyager, the Krenna were a fairly small society. There had to be a reason the Vodwar went out of their way to target them. Let's move. There might be more ships in range. All right. In that case, put us back on course. Also, good job, fighters. You did well out there. Let's make sure that everyone's system is up to date. There we go. Everyone is tied in with the main computer to help coordinate. There are more Vodwar on an intercept course, but we may be able to avoid them. I suggest we use the mineral content of the asteroids I've marked to conceal our energy signatures. Vodwar sensors aren't as good as ours. Most of their technological advantage appears to be directed toward making better weapons. So it should work, as long as we don't attract their attention before we get out of their path. Mm, okay, we can try that, but... This ship doesn't exactly maneuver like a shuttle, and it is kind of big. We'll try. All fighters, return to hangar. So we're going to try and hide inside of an asteroid. Tobin, this one's all on you. I'm diverting power to engines. Make good use of it. Nope, we did not make it. All fighters, launch! Bring this ship around. Also, those are not Vodwar. Those are Heralds. What are the Iconians doing here? All right, it's time to start throwing everything we've got here. All of it. There's one more cruiser left. Begin soft attacks. Target their shields, target their systems. Good. Hard attacks. Hit them with everything. Restoring power to weapons. I forgot to do that. Bring forward cannons to bear. Low profile means exactly this. I did tell you this is a large ship. It doesn't move fast. It doesn't hide. I still think the better question is what are the Iconians doing here?
All right, so now we just get a scans of a moon. Wait, you mean that? Is that a moon? Why is there a moon here? If the planet is gone, the moon should have been flung off into nothing. With no gravity well to keep it in place. I'm not detecting any gravity wells. Are we in range yet? No. Alright. Hold the course. Closer, closer. How many fighters did we lose last time? Looks like we lost a lot of them. It's alright, we'll get replacements. Okay, we're in range. Solarian, get a scan of that moon. Harold's inbound. Why? The Vaudoir must have gotten a signal out. Alright, more Iconians. All fighters, go! It's just another cruiser, we can handle this. Hit it with everything! Our systems are experiencing major failures. Do your best to get them back online. Okay, never mind. It's done. Tobin, all stop. Agreed. So all I need is a team now. This time, I am bringing a full security detail. So, Lewis, you're in. Unicorn, you are too. Starla, no. Ray, you're coming as our engineer. Solarian, bring your big guns. This is our team. Let's go. This doesn't make sense. There's nothing here that would cause the readings I was seeing from orbit, but there are traces of chronotron particles. I've never known chronotrons to appear naturally without some sort of temporal manipulation going on, but there's nothing here. I'm starting to come up with a theory, but I need some more data. I recommend we take some additional scans. How about this? You take some additional scans and we'll provide cover. Exactly, but we need to be quick. Those patrols we encountered in orbit will be missed soon. I'm going to order the Chimera to try to avoid contact, but warn us if more ships arrive. That's a good plan, actually. Alright. Where's a good place to scan, then? Everybody, weapons out. Just in case. These tall spires are charged with temporal energy. You mean these giant crystals? Time crystals. Why I need to get some familiar? scans. There's something going on. Yes, I know you need to get some scans. We're working on it. Let's see. We wanted to get scans. Um Which ones are scannable? What about this one? Hey, did you check this one? Curious. It's almost like it's in a state of temporal flux. What does that even mean? I mean, how can something be in temporal flux? There are more mineral deposits over there. 
There's a resonant frequency here that's not natural. I'd love to know exactly how you determine that it's not natural. I'm reading another anomaly ahead. Yeah, this looks... weird. Hold on. Let me try to lock this down. It's slippery. It's a bit hard to hold on to. Let's see. Right, I think I got something. These anomalies have a shape. Like a warp field, but not quite the same. Interesting. Well, I'm glad you got something out of that. Here's another one of your time crystals. The only other place I've seen sensor readings like this was in the wormhole. Heralds have landed at your and are approaching your position. Oh, great. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Get the ship out of here. There! Behind those rocks! Where? I don't see them. However, I am going to get ready. Just in case. They'll be here any moment. This area looks defensible. Get ready. Get ready, huh? I have an idea. We need to use the device. I've been trying to activate it, and I've almost got it. Keep them busy. If I can get it working, I should be able to conceal us. All right. I'll do the best I can. In the meantime, however... Here they come! Setting up the bunker. It's just constructs for right now, but they could send something bigger. Good job, Ray, setting up a secondary bunker. Except they just broke yours. Uh-oh, that's a big one. Um. Okay, we're still doing this. I'm not sure how we ended up in that cave, but we'll handle this. Okay. Nog, you're going to really need to work faster. Uh-oh. Tovin, we need some assistance. That worked. Good job. I don't know how we keep ending up in here, but I'm not liking it. We gotta get that big one down. Target the big one. You get out of here. This isn't working. I need more time to align these frequencies. OK, 
Okay, Nog, you are out of time. We are overrun here. We are outnumbered, outflanked. Ugh, Nog, you have failed. I cannot protect you from this. I am not an army. There's still more reinforcements coming in. Get your act together. Almost there. Just one more connection and that should... Well, great. He's gone. Here comes more of them. We should get out of here. Dropping a turret for what little good that's going to do. Good job, Unicorn. A fuse conduit, or construct. Alright, we need to get out of here. We need to get to high ground. So we can transport out. Lay into them. Okay. There should be a clear transport spot up here. Here they come. Setting up a bunker as best I can. Get this thrall out of here. Ow! Unicorn is down. All of our generators are down. The bunker is down. I'm adding my shield generator and everything here. Get out of here. Ah, oh, he hurt. Thank you, Lewis. We have got to get off of this moon. Come on, double time. There should be a transport spot up ahead. I hope. Unless the Iconians can bring something even bigger up here. All right, it's time to get off of this rock. Oh! We're not getting off. Okay, this is not good. We are... in trouble. Take cover behind the rocks. The rocks are not offering a lot of cover. If you'll forgive the pun, I managed to buy us some time. Nog, what the hell did you do? 
It's taken me some time to convince the Krenim to help us, but they finally agreed. Remember how I said the device could remove someone from the time stream? It did. That's where we are now, in the temporal bubbles. And how we perceive time in here is a little different than outside. That's why the Heralds can't see us. We're out of their timelines. Out of all timelines, in fact. While we're here, it's almost like we don't exist. Okay. So I can see how this is a good thing for the moment, but how do we get back and deal with them? No one's shooting at us. I think that's a good thing. The Krenim are... They're a little touchy. Uh, almost being driven to extinction by the Vaudoir has made them suspicious. But they're willing to talk to us if we help them stabilize the temporal energy. I suggest we help. I wouldn't want to be in here if the fields collapse. Yeah, that does sound bad. All right. We'll work on it. So, what can you tell me about this stuff and how do we help? I've had some time to observe you and Captain Nog. And your actions make it clear that you are no friend of the Vaudoir or the Heralds. This does not, however, assure me that you will be allies to my people. The Krenim have lost much. Our empire is gone, and our people have been killed or scattered. We are what remains, and I will do whatever I must to protect this system, even if it means leaving you to face the Heralds alone. Okay, so how can we help? You have already repaired some of our emitters that were damaged by the attack. But there is more yet to do. Should our temporal equipment fail, this location will be instantly overrun by heralds. If that happens, none of us will survive. No, I fully agree. The heralds are an army. How do we keep this thing up? More of our emitters must be realigned, and there are other pieces of equipment my people are already working to repair. Assist my team, and then we will talk again. All right. That's all you needed to say. Man, if only I could shoot them from here while they can't shoot back. Because that's one of the big guys. I'd like to get rid of him. Okay. So how do we help then? Let's get this done double quick. Okay, that was scary. There's just more of them popping in everywhere. All right, is this one of the emitters? Your fight overloaded some of the power couplings we used to moderate the temporal flow. If we had a contained space like the technology was originally designed for, this wouldn't be a problem. But we keep pushing the boundaries of what these flow modulators will do. I'm rerouting the power to take stress off the damaged couplings. But first, we need to get this capacitor aligned and ready for the transfer. Well, now you're speaking my language. I can help with that. Okay, now it's starting to look like something. There we go. See, that was easy. Super easy. All right, um... There's also something else going on over here. So that should buy us a little bit of time to keep this field up. What else can we do? Another one of these. Okay. The temporal compensators are out of alignment. They help keep us at a stable point in the timeline. If they fail completely, we could end up lost in time. Grab a hyperspanner. We need to get this fixed before the drift coefficient moves out of the safe zone. Yeah, I can do that. So the temporal compensators are out of alignment. Maybe the cause of the temporal synchronization or may cause the temporal synchronization matrix to destabilize. 
I can do that. Alright, so. If this is like anything else, first thing we'll want to do is disconnect. No? Temporal compensators are out of alignment. Yeah. So I don't want to disconnect it first? What if I reconnect it then? No? Okay, then I guess we'll just work on the crystals while it's alive. Alright, crystals are now realigned. So now we reconnect it? No. Well, then there's only one thing to do. We realign the crystals, then we unplug it, then we plug it back in. Alright, temporal compensators are aligned, the device is working within expected parameters. Good. I'll put the next location on your tricorder. Close enough. Their technology is a little bit weird. I'm not familiar with the way it works. Usually you would disconnect something to, to work on it, but I guess not here. Whew. For a moment there, I thought I could see them. We've got to get this fixed. If any more of them pop in, sooner or later they might actually figure out what's going on. But... Didn't Sela say that Iconians can't travel through time? But that doesn't mean anything about their, their army. Their army could. Alright, what's wrong with this one? Hold this. No, hold it right next to the bracket. Or the spanner won't... There. Got it. Thanks. Something is putting too much stress on these components. I'm not sure what it is, but we don't have enough spare parts to keep rebuilding this transceiver. Grab a tricorder and run a level 3 diagnostic. Maybe there are some microfractures. If we can find and repair those, this should hold out until I can fabricate a new unit. Sure, I can do that. Why are you guys having so many problems with this, though? Anorax's original designs are for a temporal field that's big enough for a ship, sizable but finite. We've adapted the tech to cover much larger areas, but that makes the field more unstable, and we had to get everything operational before the Vodwar found us. So we cut some corners, a lot of corners. We're making updates and repairs as fast as we can, but we can't afford a failure. This tech is the only thing keeping us alive. No, no, I get that. All right, let me help. Hold this. Okay, let me see what I can do here. So if something is putting too much stress in the components, there may be microfractures. If they're repaired, it should hold out into some, until another one can be built. Alright, so first thing we'll have to do is find them. Then we need to have something to fix them, so hold on, let me just make this. And then we do a repair. There we go. Everything is solid again. That should do it. Alright. If none of the other ones are showing issues, then I think we're good here. Let's let him know the good news. Hup! Man, creepy with all the ghosts running around. We did the best we could. You've shown you're willing to help. Now perhaps we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Sure. We have Anorax's plans, but not the... Interesting. The Heralds are opening a gateway. Well, okay, but they open lots of gateways. What's special about this one? The repairs should be enough. I beg mercy, Great One. It appears they used a cloaking device and escaped. You are forgiven. Make preparations to depart. 
Interesting development. These sentients have proven to be resourceful. Already they have thwarted our plan to bring in the Solanay fleet. And yet they injured even you, Ticket. I advise caution. They are more dangerous than they appear. We shall handle the world's descending. Still they let blood until it fills the oceans. It is time to strike. I understand you want vengeance, but we must not act in haste. We will continue with our plan. The whole must be as one. That was interesting. Um, that lends itself to a lot of questions, though. Like, who's the other, and what's the mantra? The whole must be as one. I don't know. They couldn't see us? There were Iconians right in front of us, and nothing! They had no idea we were here. We were completely safe. Safe is a relative term. But it looks like they're leaving. So, now we might be safe. Ish. The only protection left to my people is our ability to manipulate time. But it is something we must do with great care. Even the most innocuous of changes can ripple through reality in unexpected ways. <laughs> yeah, um, I bet. My people and I have made Anorax's theories of temporal manipulation our lives work. In at least one temporal variant, his ship made the Krenim Imperium the undisputed masters of this region of space. If only we could recreate that vessel. What vessel? Anorax designed a ship, a wondrous vessel, that could manipulate the time streams and erase elements in an attempt to bring about a desired result. Our records show that he even attempted to use this vessel to restore the Krenim's fortunes, but he was defeated by an unknown alliance. Afterward, the Krenim Imperium declined. As perhaps was its fate all along. We were diminished, but content to let time progress as it would. Until the Vodwar. Yeah, well, the Vodwar kind of screwed everyone in that, that war. The first Krenim worlds to fall managed to warn the others. When the Vodwar came, we hid ourselves in the time stream. It was the only way we survived. Before the Vodwar arrived, we were working on a relic. It was a replica of Anorax's time ship. With it, we could have gone back and eliminated the Vodwar threat before it even began. I like the sound of that. How do we do that? The Vodwar's assault on the Imperium took too much from us. Now we possess Anorax's work, but not the means to bring it to life. You have seen what our technology can do. We have the designs. You have the manpower and the materials. Perhaps your governments 
would be interested in mutual cooperation. Allow us a chance to undo what the Vodwar did, and we will give you something that will erase your enemies from time itself. I like it. Um, I will have to bring your offer, or maybe you, to my representatives, but we could do it. There's more here than what you've seen. You've hidden the entire planet? Yes. We removed ourselves from the time stream to stay alive. With your help, we can change everything. You hid an entire planet, but you can't build this time ship on your own? We have the plans. Our resources are almost gone. We have shipyards, workers, and all the materials you could need. Precisely. We revealed ourselves to you as a gesture of good faith. What will you do in return? We're gonna build you a ship. That's what we're gonna do. The Iconians and the Heralds are gone. It's safe to resync with our time and contact our ship. But this is huge. A whole Krenum colony that survived the Vodwar? One that has temporal technology that even the Iconians can't counter? A weaponized time ship that can erase entire civilizations like they never existed? This could change the entire war. We we could have a chance now. Yeah, although I do have some concerns. Like, uh, what happens when somebody points it at us? Still, though, it's the best option we've got so far. So, Toven, beam us back up. Let's get out of here. What happened? We've been scanning for you, but you just disappeared. We've been hiding in the debris to stay away from the Herald ships, and then... You're not going to believe this. There's a planet here now. An entire planet. Did you find something down here? Something that could conceal an entire planet? It's going to be one hell of a debriefing. Don't worry, we got it. Just bring us back up. Temporal mechanics is not a complication we need, but this weapon they are proposing sounds intriguing. You and Captain Nog were correct in thinking the Alliance would be interested in investigating such a thing. Personally, I approve of anything the Iconians might fear. Kapla! Yeah, well, they're gonna fear it, all right. All right, so, um... Some new weapons. A temporal flux generator? Huh. Maybe. A chroniton jolt? Mm, maybe not. However, a temporal flux generator... Could be useful. Could be useful. A grants immunity to all damage. Unicorn, you could use something like that. The war continues, and all of our warriors are needed to fight. Yeah, I bet they are. But we just got this this Please generator. I said we just got this generator. And now Unicorn's gonna have to figure out how to use it. So, um, I hope you got this whole science thing on lock because this thing is gonna keep you alive. Right? Right. So, um, time ship. Time eraser. Heavy stuff. I don't know if it's actually going to work or not. We're gonna have to see. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take a little bit of a break, head back to the Beta Quadrant, get some rest, get some repairs. We come back next time, um, I don't know what we're doing. But presumably it'll be something time ship related. Right? Anyway, if you want to be here for that, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon to get for every video when they come out. If you know somebody else who also might be interested in this, share it. Otherwise, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time for more Star Trek Online. And until then, take care.